Hey guys, Mike here. Well, today I finished my refrigeration piping. I got it all soldered in place with a Stabrite 8. Um, beware, there's an Amazon seller out there who's selling supposed Stabrite 8, but he's only sending the regular Stabrite, which only has, uh, I looked it up, 4% silver in it. So be wary that there is a guy on Amazon who's uh, trying to do that, and I already messaged the seller about this. But uh, I'm going to keep this anyway just because it's pretty good, and I can use it for other things besides refrigerant lines. Um, a friend lent this to me, so that's how I got that. We also have <clears throat> the condenser coil, which I got off Amazon. It's a 8x8, three-row coil, and it's actually a really nice little, nice little coil. And uh, it's honestly, for this system, it's probably overkill, but it's going to do the job. Um, I had a few different things I wanted to do. First, I wanted to put this outside and, and build a little platform with it with a fan. But then I'm like, no, because then I'm going to have to run hoses out there and disconnect them and connect them. So I'm going to mount it to the side somehow. There'll be a fan attached to the top of it, and I'll just duct it to the window with an intake and an exhaust. And um, it'll be a closed loop system with a Bell and Gossett circulator pump. I already picked one out that's 125th horsepower and uh, it moves 20 gallons uh, per minute. This is a restricting, a uh, regulating valve, excuse me, right here. So I can regulate the flow through the condenser to get my head pressure right. But what I'm thinking is just as a backup, I'm going to get a globe valve so I can meter the flow of uh, water through the system and really meter in my um, head pressure there. So here we go. Here's a liquid line. We come out of the top of the receiver. New fitting over here. I did a little, uh, had to do a coupling there because that already was cut off. Came over here. I bent it up nicely over this way into our Parker filter dryer, which I have uh, mounted there. Then we come into our sight glass, which is a see-all sight glass, so we can see uh, if we're low on refrigerant and if we're dry or moist. Right now there's moisture in there just because it was open to the atmosphere. But once you vacuum out the system, that'll go back to green. Come up. I just got the new Parker solenoid valve from Granger today, but I'm reusing the uh, old coil for now because um, it still works so you know it the, the coil still works so why not but the solenoid valve itself is brand new as you can see here I got it sweated in there nicely then it goes right into the metering device the TXV um, I have a feeling this should have been on the other side of the solenoid valve but it was like a little too late until I realized but I guess it's okay this is our high side port with a Schrader pin, a little washer o-ring in there. Okay, and there's our suction line, which comes over here, over here, over here, over here. Um, this is a little shoddy, but I had to make it work. But this will all be insulated, so you won't see this, but it's fine. A little T come up here, and then come into our low side uh, Schrader port, which uh, We'll be using for the vapor. This is I'm gonna keep this as an R22 system. I have a friend who can lend me some R22, so I'm just gonna keep it as unless there is a drop in refrigerant, which I looked up some, but again, um you need to change the TXV and I looked into 404A, but you know the compressor's a compressor, so I'm gonna do my best to keep this R22. Um it's just less hassle. Um, if the TXV is leaking because it is flare connections and the head is a little rusted, I'm sure I can go to Abco and get a new one. Um, but yeah, other than that, here's our condenser water in, here's our condenser water out. So that's the next step is doing the piping for the condenser water, ordering the circulator pump, getting it tied into this coil. Here's some more of that Armaflex that I'll do once uh, we do a pressure test and the vacuum test and once everything holds and I can put a charge into the unit and after we get the unit running and all of that that's like the very last thing I'm gonna do um, also I'm gonna order a digital uh, 
thermostat that's line voltage that'll be I guess I could either mount it inside or, or outside but I might mount it inside just so it doesn't hit anything I'm trying to keep this box as uh, compact as I can but I can't with the condenser section that has to be done and uh, yeah I just did this today I used uh, where is it I got a tank of um, map gas back there so I just did that what's nice is I have this little attachment here so I don't have to hold that big stupid bottle when you're trying to do your joints you can just hook this on the bottle and then this goes to your torch head so this is a nice attachment I recommend uh, getting that for anybody and yeah that's where I'm at so far and uh, I hope you guys like this if you have any opinions on anything I should do if there's anything you see that's wrong please let me know in the comments and um, if there's any ideas you can throw into this, I'd love to know. Please uh, put it in the comments. And yeah, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, mic out. I hope you enjoy.